So this here is our buck pasture and our bottle calves. This one's itty bitty. And this one over here is Muzo. These are my daughter's calves. They have this little lot right here, which is about a quarter of an acre. And this lot on the other side of these timbers, that is about half an acre. What we plan on doing is putting the bucks and the calves back here in this half acre all together. We've already got fence here that goes all the way down uh, to that old building back there which we're going to eventually fix it up again maybe just tear it down and redo it we're not sure yet these are my decision that the husband lets me make and I've not decided what I want to do <laughs> uh, this will be this is smaller wire. That will be one of our weaning pins. And then this, this field back here used to be part of our horse pasture. And I added in a, a fence back here, which is just page wire field fencing. And I just put it up temporarily with got a strand of hot wire across the top to keep the horses from leaning over it. Um, but there's a lot of a lot of weeds that the goats love, the does love coming in here when I put the bucks up and picking the leaves off of all these weeds. But we'll put a bale of hay, a uh, round bale back here for the calves and the bucks for winter time. Uh, they go into the barn right here, into the back of the barn. So I'm wanting to kind of, uh, I'm actually wanting to take this from this post over to that post and build a little, maybe not quite that far over, but build a little run-in shed here for the, for them to go into. And then I'm going to close that door up on the barn. Fix my barn door, which a lot of this was, we're just kind of making do because we've not lived here for very long. Uh, the wood that held the door together is all rotted out. So the door is just, it's barely hanging in there, put up. I don't know how it stayed up this long. But I would eventually like to fix my door of course so I can open and close it and we're going to actually separate this half acre into two quarter acre lots we'll have one going down this way one going down that way and of course putting another shed in a run-in shelter on on this side plus the run-in shelter that I want to do there for for this quarter acre These would be, probably both of these would be buck pens and just rotate pastures or possibly breeding pens. Here is the run-in for the side pasture over here that my does use. And 
And my books got in the trash, so there's some Bible quarry. And I've got a panel up here to keep them separated. You see, this is how they would come in from the book side of the pen. And I believe they use this uh, property for cattle. So this was actually a sh cattle chute. And they would use this. They'd run them in here from the front of the barn and then through the chute there, which I've started taking it down, but i got to take it the rest of the way down. That way we can actually, you know, use the back of the barn to access the stalls that are back here. And the barn is sinking something horribly. See, I dug my door out so I could even access it when I was using a breeding pen and it's sunk down that I can't shut it now. You see the bottom bolt over here is even on the ground when it was well, I believe this was a six or eight foot tall door. And I'm five foot five and have to watch my head. <laughs> so it has sunk down quite a bit. And it didn't have a roof on part of the barn when we bought the property, so we had to get that fixed. And now it needs gutters, but you can see the even the wave and the barn roof where it's sinking. And this is our back pasture where the horses are. They're all back there. I can see them eat grazing. And this is how our farm got its name. Uh, there's a little substation back there. It's actually, we own the property that that power station sits on. There's also a little branch that runs along that tree line there through the back of the property. And it empties out into a good size, good size creek, spring fed, so we always have water in the back for the horses. And I'd eventually like to fence everything off so the goats can actually access the bigger pasture back here. The whole, the whole property is about nine acres. This field here is about a quarter acre. The front pasture is about half an acre. So all in all, my 22 goats, if you count the babies that we just had born that are a month old, have an acre and a half, roughly. This is our property. This is our future barn plans and our farm tour of what we currently have going on around here. Everybody thinks I'm going to feed them, but I fed them earlier <laughs> so they don't get to eat. Hi, boys.